Hi, I'm Aaron Sickles from Patrol Squadron 4 in Hawaii, and on uh, July 2007, I was arrested for DUI. I went out uh, to, after completing a course in school, I went out to the golf course and had a few beers, and then uh, traveled home, sat around there drinking for a while, and then traveled to a bar in Kailua Bay, where a friend of mine and I drank a massive quantity of Blue Moon pitchers of beer. And when the time we were ready to go home, we called a cab, waited for the cab. When the cab didn't arrive within an hour, I decided that I would drive home myself. And I had done it so many times, I was pretty good at it by now. We got in the car and we headed out. And two o'clock in the morning, I figured driving 45 and a 25 wouldn't be too bad because uh, speed limits really don't matter at three o'clock in the morning when you're drunk. So halfway out of town, I get pulled over by Hawaii's finest, asked to get out of the car, asked to perform a sobriety test, which I fail miserably, and then asked to perform the breathalyzer, which I also fail miserably, and blow a point one five nine four nine, which is one-tenth below losing my license for a year automatically. After being asked to sit on the curb while they discussed what they were going to do with me, thinking that my naval career was probably over and I'd uh, screwed up big time. They arrested me, took me to jail, where I had to post $500 bail to let myself out, and then call my command to tell them that I'd got a DUI. The next day, the skipper publicly announced that my crew had failed because I had got a DUI, and they would not be going on their trip to Guam. They would be staying here. Sixteen hours after I got my DUI, I was on restriction for 60 days, half months pay, 45, and reduction in rank from second, third class to airman and would not be able to take the second class exam. All set accounted for, that's like $30,000 I lost, BAH, second class, third class, and two and a half months pay times two. Not to mention court fines, my lawyer, insurance. I finally get my car back this month after eight months of waiting. I can never drink again in the Navy, and I have to attend AA for the rest of my life. If you're thinking about drinking and driving in the Navy, just don't do it. Because it'll change your entire life forever. Your friends won't talk to you, the ones that you thought you had. You have to make new ones who don't drink anymore if you want to quit drinking. It's probably the least healthy, one of the worst decisions you can make in the military. Just stay away from drinking and driving. Drink responsibly and stay safe. I'm Aaron Sickles, and that's my story.